Hey folks, a rational consumer here with my video game review of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Bottom line up front, this one's a little bit more complicated, but I give it a 7 out of 10 overall. It's bordering on 6, but I landed on a 7 out of 10. I would recommend that you play it if you have not tried any of the new rebooted Tomb Raider series. There's three titles, Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. If you haven't tried any of them, I would think I would actually recommend starting with Rise of the Tomb Raider because it took a lot of what Tomb Raider did and just iterated on it, added more polish, made it better. But the story of Rise of Tomb Raider isn't as good, or at least I wasn't as interested in it as the story from the first title. But it seems like the story from the first entry doesn't really have an impact on the trilogy series. Certainly, Rise of the Tomb Raider seems to be setting up a larger story arc that I assume will be resolved in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I have not played Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, hoping to do that next year, but the story from the first game, while I enjoyed it better, didn't seem to have much impact on the second game. So you can reasonably jump into Rise having not played the first title. And I think really all you're going to miss out on is knowing who a couple of characters were that were introduced in that game. But I would recommend starting with Rise if you hadn't played any of the rebooted games. Now, if you did play Tomb Raider, the first entry in the rebooted series, I'm not sure that I would recommend playing Rise. I just didn't feel like it was worth the investment of my time, which was about 10 hours, but I will get into the components for the score. Again, the overall score was seven. I'll give it a three out of three on quality. Uh, nothing about the quality of the game took away anything and the facial expressions and some of the rendering despite being a somewhat older game were pretty good so three out of three on the quality of the game for me two out of three on experience so for for this game series or at least for the first two entries it is pretty fun there are some good puzzles certainly um there's some epic moments it, it feels oftentimes like you're in a movie whether you're you know sliding down an avalanche or you know jumping across collapsing bridges and everything it can provide some pretty epic moments and, and again some of the puzzles are pretty engaging the combat's probably one of the weaker parts of the game i would say um but there can be some at least in rise they introduced some cool sort of improv crafting that you can do in combat to make molotov cocktails or uh, enhance your arrows and have them do kind of funky things so there were some aspects of the combat that i felt certainly were improved on in rise but it's not like god of war or even some of the jedi series where they despite being these third-party action-adventure sort of narrative-driven games, still have combat systems that feel great. I haven't felt like the combat system in either of the first two Tomb Raider series was stellar, but the puzzles are fun. The epic cinematic moments made for a pretty good experience. I just didn't really love the story, and that brings me to the return of investment where I give it a one out of three, you know, when it, when I finished the game, I just found myself saying, did I need to have played that uh, or was that worth my time? And I didn't come away with any epic moments from the game or feeling like there were cool story beats or anything that I felt was worth the hours that I was putting into it. So one out of three on return of investment. Um, and again, it's sitting at that six or seven score. Um, the good news is that it's usually pretty easy to get a hold of. It's on Game Pass right now for free. Uh, well, with a subscription, I should say. And it's usually available in any of the sales, Steam Summer Sale, Black Friday sales. I think I got it for like $2 or something. So odds are you can get your hands on it pretty cheap. And it is only, you know, a 10 hour ish experience. So it, it isn't the end of the world. If you're interested, I think I would recommend 
you play it, but it doesn't need to be bumped up your backlog by any means. Um, if you feel differently or thought that Rise is absolutely worth your time or you hated it, let me know in the comments. Would love to hear from you and engage. If not, I will see you in my next review.